Hi guys, and welcome to episode 75 of the raid series. In the last episode, we went to reserve, got Glucker, and then we went to customs and tried to get the uh, scav boss minions in there, but had no luck because we couldn't find him. So this episode, we'll try and push through customs, see if we can get the scav boss minions. After that, if we do get them, um, we will go to probably labs and try and get the raiders done there. That would pretty much have us sitting really nicely for just getting Shooter Born in Heaven done and some sniping stuff, which um, would hopefully get us a pretty good position to uh, get the cabin container pretty soon. So, um, let's get into it. First thing, as usual, we will buy more fuel. Always topping up that uh, the generator in the hideout. Now, um, I'm filming this one directly after the previous episode, so uh, there is already fuel in the generator going and um, the Bitcoin farm still running. So I might switch these out real quick. So that way the empty one will be the first one. Bitcoin farm is still cranking. Uh, three hours left on that. Right, we could go to the next level. We don't really need to. The, uh, there is an option that we could have done, which would have cost us 15,000 euros. So it's about 1.5 million. It would make the fuel have double the amount of use. So it is good if uh, you're always on checking your uh, fuel and Bitcoin farm non-stop because you'll save money in fuel. But if you log in once every day to two days and you know, you're know you a bit more lenient with it, um, it's not really the best thing to get, but it is required for Bitcoin farm level three. So you can weigh it up. You can make those decisions. You're all big boys and gals. And uh, yeah, so that's really the only thing left on the hideout to craft if we wanted to do that. Um, as for everything else, we're pretty much ready to go. So, yeah, I'm not going to mess about this episode. Without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so customs... Um, Usual drill is gonna go, we're gonna go new gas and uh, dorms and then out or vice versa. And if I feel like we could give it a go to go to the new area, we'll go check that out. But it's gonna be mostly quick speed. We're not gonna be sticking around. We're gonna check for safes, um, see if we can get the vase. Um, this is actually a really interesting spawn. We could just go check out the new area first um, and then head over to dorms. We do run the risk that if someone, the scabbots is in dorms, we will not, not have an opportunity to get him. So, um, let's go dorms first. I feel like less people are going to rush to that new area. So, we'll pop the SJ6, which means we can pretty much run the entire way to dorms in the one sprint. We'll be a little bit short from this spawn, but we'll definitely get a large amount of the distance covered. And the main purpose behind doing it that quickly is also just to uh, avoid any conflict on the way there. So really, there's a chance that someone might shoot me from the left-hand side right here that's not the scab. Because um, they're doing the same thing, sprinting straight for the dorms. But if we're quick enough, which after this sprint's over... We really don't need a lot more stamina to get the rest of the way, so that's enough easily. Thanks for that SJ6. Now we... If he's not dead, he must be close. We've got a lot of bullets into him. That would have been the guy that spawned in front. He was probably trying to get um, his uh, Packer SB6 helmet done. Quest done. Just uh, making sure we've got ammo in our mags, stuff like that. Angry scav outside. Might quickly check for the vase. 
Whilst we're doing that, I'm going to move these am ammo up and start reloading this mag. Pretty much gonna hear if anyone's gonna be running straight to the mushroom from here, so we could take note of that. Skull should fit in the docks. Doesn't. All right, so we'll take that out. Cool. Keep on moving. Watch out for anyone that might be camping it. So that guy that we killed, I'm 99% sure he spawned at the uh, at the bridge. On the bridge spawn. So the closest spawn to the dorms on custom side. The one that spawned on boiler side, the closest spawn on boiler. boiler. Obviously didn't sprint straight here, otherwise he would have bet us both. Um, nothing to worry about there. Not going to mess about here any longer than I need to. As I said, we're here for the scab boss and his minions, or vases right now, so. We'll go check two-story dorms, or scab boss and, um, and vases. Now, ultimately, you're best off going up here, just real quick. Is having a look. If all the doors are open, then the scab boss is there. That's pretty much how I take note of it. But you usually hear them. Alright, we'll go check 105 real quick, and then probably go new gas. Now, I haven't actually searched this yet, so... I don't want to quickly do that. Cool. Alright, so we're going to go check new gas, and it's very quiet right now. Very quiet. Alright, that's a uh, checkpoint. Or is it? Yeah, I think it is. It could be the back of gas. There's a player right here. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Didn't even hear him. Did not even hear him. Oh well. We got three of them. He just like slid into view and shot me three times in the face. Oh well. 
Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to keep doing that pathing as fast as we could. I killed four in the end, actually. Oh, because I killed the guy at the start as well. All right, let's reload, uh, load out and get back into it. Spawn, the pathing was pretty much simple. We just spawned in, we ran straight to the new, uh, to the dorms, checked out new gas and then died. Um, if I'd heard that guy running to the corner, I would have definitely stopped sprinting, but I was trying to get around that corner before he had position. So, um, because it sounded like he was running around the front at the start when I, when I first uh, was leaving the building. Actually, we've got this helmet and I might take the MDR. We haven't used an MDR in a bit. Definitely need a bigger rig than that though. We could go this one actually. Freeze up some sp uh, spots. All right, magazines. Um, we've got a few of these here. Ammunition, we've got that ammo there. that down there so we've got some backup i think we've got an extra mag we could take yeah cool meds we don't need a lot of meds got the backup meds there plenty of cash made that rate anyway and i just want to buy a couple of sj6s because you saw how the fact that we were able to run there that quickly with the sj6 how much that made a difference on getting up behind that player so where the speed at the start of a round really makes a big difference so SJ6, ready to go there. Sold another Intel doc, so we're still cruising money-wise, and yeah, let's get back into another raid. Right, we're in, and we're going to pop this. Directly in front of us is uh, new gas, so we're literally just going to sprint down there, have a quick look, and then leave it. Um, there is a spawn up to our right. I don't think people should spawn in while we spawned here, but it is possible. Everything's possible in this game. Um, so I'm just going to try and keep a look out to the top of that hill. I can't see anyone, though. Can't see any scav boss or minions behind the the gas station. I'm gonna hug this wall. Should hopefully hear them if they're out the front. No, they're not out the front, so we're just gonna keep running now. Straight to dorms. See if we can find these, uh... Scab boss. Keeping an eye out to the right just to see if there's a, uh... Player at all. Running through towards the, uh... The dorms. I'm gonna go on the back of this garbage to jump through the window. Keep moving. Do this so much faster now we can go through windows. And we'll put this in here now. Share a feline badge. Someone was asking me about that the other day. I said you'd get it within 100 saves. I think we still need one. I could be wrong. Might be worth us uh, making sure we play a little bit extra safe on the way out. No doors are open, but I would close the doors if I went in.
players are coming. Just hit him then. Stream the мне это место давай 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 вот подло Повсюду. работаем блять как мыши Oh, it's all them dead. I remember when we struggled to get kills in dorms. So we're waiting for the opportunity to push or like him to push us. If that guy up top pushed us, we had the advantage every single time. Um, let's go check ammo in this. A5681, we could take that. So yeah, if that guy pushed us up the top, he, he knew it. He knew that we would have him. So he was playing it safer, which was smart. The smart play. Um, however, the other guys came and because of that, they put him in a real awkward spot where he had to make a decision. And uh, unfortunately, he never stood a chance. He was sandwiched between lots of us, really. I could just heard someone come in here. I want this AK. Cool looking AK. Why can't I fold this item? It's got a foldable, collapsible stock. I can't understand why I can't fold that item. Stupid. Ah, it's PSMO. Um... We might run out here. Car's there. Let's reset. Okay. I didn't, uh... I didn't bring a splint. Ugh. 
It's leveling up the stress resistance. That's good fun though. Um, we could check the other safes, but I'm 99% sure that the two, three-story dorm safes were looted because there was all that cash there from the um, euros and, and dollars and rubles. So I'm fairly confident those two looted them while we were fighting upstairs. That's why I'm not spending any time there. Or any time searching them. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. There is a high possibility that there was shooting. There was a lot of shooting towards the bus depot. I don't know if it was past the bus depot, but if that shooting was past it, there was a high chance that could have been the scab boss in that raid. I don't believe so though. I, I've got a feeling it wasn't. It was like one big fire, like one big burst. So if it was the scab boss, they killed him. The scab boss killed the, the player and then that was it. Um, but generally, the player doesn't die in the first burst. Generally speaking. I'd rather reset this, try and get another chance to uh, run to the spots and get them. We only got to kill two of them. It's not like we've got to kill all four. We didn't pick up the first dog pack. When was that? Pretty forgotten. Oh, the, the room at the top. Got the looted. Oh, well. Thought we killed four. I was like, where is he? Alright, hard thing, pretty straightforward. We spawned, we went new gas, checked that out, wasn't anyone there. And head to dorms, two story, then three story, and then yeah. We were out of there, so. I'm gonna dump. Oh, I'm gonna check. We don't have a Sheriff Eli badge. So, sweet. One more towards the collection of what we need for the container. Um, we need to keep an eye out for Sacral's Tea. So, Sacral's Tea and Dr. Lupo's. Not Dr. Sorry, not Dr. Lupo's, Deadly Slobs. And I think we're, we're pretty much. Got everything then. Close to at least. Uh, let's get some more ammo sorted. Top these mags up. We, we played that well. Really well. And chuck that there. I want to get another SJ6. Right, and then a propital because they're really handy in the fights. And we're good to go. Alright. Customs. Let's go. Alright. Same again. Hopefully we get a good spawn. Um, I don't really, like, it's not a horrible spawn. It's not a great spawn, though. It's the same as, uh, I think, in the last episode, where we ran straight down the center. We'll do uh, do the exact same thing again. So we're going to run straight down the center here. Hopefully we'll find them at New Gas, and it's all over at Red Rover from there. But if not, we'll um, New Gas, Storms, and then we'll head across to the new area. Expansion of customs. Don't really think we need to go in, but we will. an eye to the right, see if I can see anyone. Just keep running, just keep running.
All right. Give us a vase. A vase, I said. Not a teapot. We've got two pots. I've got to take the cash out. Oh, we've got enough of the car already, at least. The thing I like about, the best about jumping through those windows is you don't have to go through all those choke points of a bloody front door. Here we go. Here we go. Show us the vase. Yes. Right. We have to get enough XP now that we can, uh... That's a lot of shooting. Hmm. No doors open yet over here. It could be scab boss over in the new area. I'm not sure. I didn't mean to reload then. But we have now, so... Have a look. Um, let's see. Let's go to the new area. Let's risk it. Grenades going off is a good sign of scab boss, so... And it sounds far away. Far enough away that it could be the scab boss, so... Alright. I didn't realize he pushed back out. <laughs> Fucking rampage right now. I think that's the guy that I hit first. So this was all the shooting. Let's go check, Sky Boss. It was definitely past bus depot, it just might not have been far enough, unfortunately. <laughs> definitely Sky Boss. Holy shit. Hit a GL40. Drop some weight. It's pre-med. Make sure mags are topped up. We've got to be able to kill three more, I think. I 
Hope they're not, there's not someone flanking me right there. The quest done. Yeah, for another grenade. For, I think that's for Charlotte that threw that one. Fuck is he? Really don't want to stick st stand still along here at all. I'm fairly confident someone shot a GL forty at us. Could be wrong. One, two. Three. Hit him. They go out the back, it's like they ran out the back. <laughs> Fuck off. <sighs> well, we got the, the kills done at least. We lost that vase though. That's actually annoying. That's actually really annoying. How did he kill me? Just destroy my thorax. Must have. Must have. Wait on the loading screen. Um, pathing. Used to it by now. <laughs> new gas. Dorms. And then we ran over to the, uh, the new area to kill the scab boss. Being that he was out there. Um, ran into some players on the way through. Got those guys, no problem. And then Scabos minion pretty much instantly dropped me as soon as I peeked out. I, I overexposed. It was my own fault that I died because I overexposed. But at the same time, I felt confident I was going to kill him. So. We did 1800 damage then. 1855. The Scabos minion is stupid tank. T45M to the chest. Hit me. He hit me once in the chest to kill me. Um, but he hit me in the left arm once. They're saying here that he hit me in the left arm once. And then it's saying I had five collateral from the left arm. I don't even understand that. I don't... I legitimately do not understand that. He hit me once on the left. Maybe he hit me 
like four more times in the chest. But it's saying all collateral from left arm. So somehow he hit me five times on the left arm, but it's only coming up once, and then I just died to the chest. I don't know. I'm not going to overanalyze it, but that was weird. I'd have to watch it back. Anyway, it is what it is. And, um... Well, at least we got the task done. So we're in there for. We didn't get the other task done, being, uh... Teapots, but we can get those not... It's not too difficult to get teapots. So, right now, all we really have left is to kill eight raiders. Which we'll do on labs. We have heaps of fuel. Um, we could turn them into mag cases if we really wanted to. Might actually uh, switch the fuel around now, actually. Generator. I'm going to put it all the... I want to have that one there first, and then blue, that goes there, blue, that goes there, blue. And then these fuel should all be able to go in here. We can vendor that. And we'll chuck that on. We we'll chuck that on. Probably our next episode we can go labs, I guess. Party up this stash real quick. I don't know how much. Do we have any 60s sitting about? I've got a couple. Have the first one with that. Fighting the players. Cool. Um, so that's good to go there. I like using face shields against raiders because they generally don't have the pen to get through your face shield sometimes. Well, like they use rip ammo a lot. So if they get you in the face shield there, you're laughing. But if you go against a player, you're pretty much gonna just, it's useless. So it blocks your vision. I don't know. Our objective is the raiders though. So maybe we just focus on that. I don't need a backpack for labs though. 100% do not need a backpack. And we have a couple of lab key cards. I'm fairly confident we've completed the task handing key cards. Yep, we have. Cool. Otherwise, I'd just buy them. Cool. And we're ready to go lab through our next raid. So, that will have to be on our next episode. Hopefully, uh, you guys enjoyed this one. A little bit shorter. I don't really have anything else I could do. I could just pretty much finish tidying up this stash. Uh, we can vendor some stuff. Got room for guns. I don't even think I'm going to use that Ash 12, to be honest. I might just vendor that one. Uh, I've got the Remington sitting there. It's a good fun to use. I've got two Ash 12s, actually. Um, might use the Barter Trade for that face shield. Or for the chop, sorry. Examine these. Whiskey. Um... I like this helmet. I like this one here. Down here. Um, probably just chuck some of this stuff in here, I guess. Tidy up that. Sell the RBV, okay.
We probably could do with another med box, to be honest. It wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt us. We definitely have plenty of meds. I don't really want to just buy stuff for the sake of buying it though, that's the thing. Ammo can go away. Still stuck in my head. Cool. Alright, a bit happier with that now. More room. Sweet, nice and tidy, ready to go for the next episode. And, um,. Yeah, hopefully we go labs and we'll get those last uh, raiders killed. Then I guess we'll probably move over to shoreline and start going for the uh, the snipings and, and stuff like that. The bases will get over time. I'm not too stressed about that. Grenade kills, we definitely need to focus on getting them done at some point. Uh, maybe we want to get sick of doing um, Shooterborn in Heaven, but we're definitely not far away from Shooterborn in Heaven, that's for sure. Just, I think we'll get out at raiders in, in, in tomorrow's episode. Oh, sorry, Monday's episode. This is the Friday one, so... Alright guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys know the drill, smash share, like button, subscribe, future content, hit the notification bell for you know exactly when they come out. Um, tell your friends about it, they're new to Tarkov, make sure you let them know about the raid series. And uh, lastly guys, I'll see you next time.